Hello, welcome to your Poe Edit tutorial. So we're gonna go through what Poe Edit is today and how you can use it to translate interfaces and in particular WordPress plugins and themes if you need to and why that may be the case. So the very first thing you're gonna need is the actual piece of software called PO Edit or Poe Edit, whatever you might wanna call it. And for that, just Google or use your preferred search engine to look for PO edit. And probably it will be the very first uh, search term, which is poedit.net. So let's go ahead and go there. And on the homepage itself, you're gonna find that it's going to recommend the preferred, the software for your particular operating system. Now there is a paid version of this program, but you're probably not going to need it. So go ahead and download the version of that is for your operating system. In my case, that would be the Mac one. So I will click on it and it's going to download uh, a zip file. And then what I'm gonna go do is install it by opening up that zip file first. And then in my case, there will be an app and that app can be uh, put into my applications or if you're on a Windows computer, then you can just uh, use the installer that it's gonna come with, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and open up this program like so. And once we do that, it's gonna ask us if we want to edit a translation, create a new translation, or if we wanna translate a WordPress theme or plugin. And in your case, if you are translating a theme or a plugin, then you will use that step. But in most cases, you will have a PO or .pot file that will be provided to you. And you're going to use that to create your translations. So let's look at what that looks like. You wanna make sure that you've saved the PO or POT file somewhere on your computer that's accessible, you know where it is. And then we're gonna go ahead and create a new translation. Okay, go ahead and choose the file. In my case, it'll be the WordPress POT file. And then you will choose the language that you want to translate in. So let's say we wanna do French, Canada, we're gonna say okay. And then you can see a bunch of these strings, these sentences or phrases or terms that need to be translated in your uh, POT file. All right, so what we're gonna do is first, you click on whichever one you wanna translate. So let's pick a slightly easy one maybe, powered by WordPress. When I click on this, at the bottom here, it says source text, which is powered by WordPress, and then I will add my translation here. So I know, I don't know what the French translation is, but let's say it's just powered by WordPress. And then I would, just go to the next one and you'll see here in the side in the translation column, it's showing the translation that I added. Now, whenever you are done, all you do is you press the check mark here and it's gonna just check that there are no issues. And once you've completed your translations, just go ahead and press Command S or Control S or File and Save in order to create a PO file that will likely be called whatever is the abbreviation for your language. So in my case, it was for the Canadian French, so it's fr underscore ca, and you'll go ahead and save that, and then you would either put it in your plugin or theme file, or if you're providing it to a developer, then you would just pass the file to them, and they will take care of the rest. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.